What's up guys, JC Tamales here and today I'm going to show you how to make a force field using command blocks in Minecraft. Now this does require a little bit of coding and um, but I'll try to cover every step of it try to make it as easy for you guys to um, learn. So let's just get to it. First off, you need to be OP or be able to spawn things in if you're going to do this on the server uh, and you need to be in creative mode to be able to do this and the server has to enable command blocks just letting you know but uh yeah this is this is a good way to protect your place from griefers if if you don't have plugins on your server or whatever so I'm just gonna type in well first off uh, you can get command blocks from your creative inventory so to get command blocks you're gonna have to type in slash give then your Minecraft name, so mine's Chasey Tamales, space 137. 137 is a block ID for command blocks. I'm going to hit enter, and there I got a command block. Also, if you have too many items, you just get it from here. And let me just make sure it doesn't turn night on me. But yeah, so we're going to place this command block down, and just place it on this one dirt. And then what this command block does is whenever anyone gets within a certain radius um, it'll teleport them away so so yeah so since it's teleporting them away we're going to do slash TP for teleport space at A so meaning all players and now we're going to put some presets to what kind of players we want so we're going to put this uh, bar parentheses and then we're going to put L equals L standing for XP levels L equals and then I'm gonna do 99 and you'll see what I mean by this later then we're gonna put comma no space LM for minimum levels equals 0 now we're gonna put comma again and the radius we want to protect so I want to protect a 10 block radius so we're gonna put 10 the and then the ending parentheses so that's your command right there so what that command means these um these these presets right here means all players who have XP levels between 99 and 0 and are within 10 blocks of this command block are to be teleported away to certain coordinates so we're gonna hit done and now we wanna know what coordinates we want so I'm gonna just move back a little bit here and uh, I think this is far enough I'm gonna put uh, F3 and then the coordinates are 81, 4, and 66. So we're just going to run back over here to the command block and put 84, 4, and then 66, I think it was. Alright, so notice that I don't have any XP levels. So if I were to get a, a button and hit this, yep, it'd teleport me away because I have no XP levels. I'm between 0 and 40. If I were to give myself slash XP 50, 500 I guess. Uh, I, 20, I have 23, it's still not enough to get within this command block. So it needs to be um, 100 or more. And uh, I could do that by typing slash XP. And then I have 23, so 23 subtracted by 100, that's 77. So we're going to put 77 and then capital L. And then it's going to give me 77 levels, so I have a full 100. So now whenever I hit this button, it's not going to teleport me away. But any other players who don't have this amount of XP um, aren't going to be able to get through. Now, if you're playing on a vanilla server, uh, it's really hard for anyone to get 100 levels. So I think this is pretty safe. But if if you want more levels, you can just add them right here. So if you want more, we could just put like, like 199. So then you need a minimum of 200 to be able to get here. But I think 100 is fine. So I'm going to just leave it at 99. And um, but if I were to subtract levels, so to subtract levels, you could put slash minus uh, five, capital L. Now I have 95. Uh, it'll teleport me away, but I could just come near it again. So what you want is this command block to be running constantly. And to do that, we're just gonna get some redstone here, and we're gonna put it on the clock. And th to make the clock, you just have a full delay on two repeaters, each next to each other and facing different directions. 
want redstone, and then the lever, just flip it on and off. And there, you have your clock. Um, if you want to know how to make a clock that you could turn on and off, like, without having to destroy a, a redstone, or, or you could just hit a button instead of having to use a lever, uh, there's going to be a video link at the end of this video, so you could, so you could know how to make a toggleable clock. Um, now we're just going to connect this to the command block and it teleports me away and whenever I try to get near the command block it's just going to teleport me away. Now if we could extend this out even more if we wanted to so let me just give myself five levels of XP so now I could enter and if we want to add more distance to this we just go right here where it says R equals and change that to 20 or however many you want and let me just subtract five more levels so now it, I I can't even get that closer and if you want to where it, where it TPs you, hold on so it TPs me right here, I could just place lava until so, uh, any vanilla players who try to get nearby will just get teleported into the lava and yeah, uh, let me give myself five XP and that's how you make this So. Thanks for watching. Uh, this this is a good way to protect your house in um, without using any plugins like to protect your house. So this is a vanilla force field. By vanilla, I mean just in the game, not like survival. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe because I make tutorials like this one, and like the video if this helped you out a bit because liking the video helps me out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, Later.